You have to believe that you can win this game. They're not going to flinch. I do think that Rini believes flinch. she is a champion of women's rights. We have to learn how not to flinch. But that keep... lesbianism has no point in the world. Forget women's basketball. Goes. So you got a three on two to Wicks. Wicks the freshman. If I could relate Penn State women's basketball to any period of time, I would relate it to the McCarthy era. I do think athletics is one of the last bastions in higher education where homophobia, heterosexism, sexism, racism, all of those things are still okay. Okay, one Penn State. Harris was a top scorer for Penn State. But in 2005, Coach Portland dismissed her from the team. I told her that I thought it was because she thought I was gay. And she told me, you know my views on that, and I'm not changing, and I'm still going to be the coach of Penn State, and you'll still be going. Homophobia in sport is, is an issue that's pervaded the sports world for decades. It's particularly acute in the world of women's athletics. It never, ever occurred to them that their ability to play basketball would be judged by what they do in their private life. She almost acted like lesbianism is a disease that you catch. If you have one in the locker room, it's going to spread. thrives in that in kind of defiant environment of this is how we do it at Penn State. We're going to keep doing it this way at Penn State. You don't like it, go somewhere else. She went through something that we now find out it was a pattern that had been established for long before Jennifer got there. The idea that someone could try to take something away from me. And I at 19 said, no. I won't let it happen. She made up her mind that it was more important that this didn't happen to anybody else. I just thank God that she had the courage to stand up and say, enough is enough, and we can't do this anymore. You cannot treat people the way you've treated me. I think it was the first time when the mainstream sports press really sort of turned around and sort of saw homophobia as the problem and not lesbians in sport as the problem.